Ladies and gentlemen, before we get into today's video, I would like to issue an apology from me to you all about last episode. In the first episode of the series, I intended to use the title tag instead of the paragraph tag in the head element. If you all would like information about this before we dig into this video, there's information on the GitHub. I do intend to still use the title tag in today's episode, and the paragraphs are going to stay, but we will go through removing them at the very beginning of the episode. So, I'm very sorry for the discrepancy. Don't worry. If you follow today's episode, it'll get you caught up right to where episode 2 is going to be without any of the discrepancies from episode 1. Thank you. Hello everyone, this is Alex from MenuDocs, and in today's video we will be returning to our introduction to web development series. Today we're going to be working on adding in some new tags to our web page. If you all have not watched our first video, make sure to go check it out before you watch this one, as we're going to be building off of our last video in this episode. So guys, we aren't going to waste any time today as we have a lot to get through, so let's hop right into our code editor. And as always, we couldn't make the content that we do on MenuDocs without our sponsor, Oxide Hosting. Today's video is proudly powered by our partner, Oxide Hosting. Get your products hosted by them with their cheap, reliable services. So what are you waiting for? Check them out in the description below. Alright guys, so this is our code from last episode. Today we're going to be introducing some new tags and things to do for your web page. To do that, we are going to have to make some slate changes first. To start, we are going to remove both of the paragraphs from our web page. We made them in the last episode. We're going to come back to paragraphs, I promise, later in the episode. But today, and for now, we do not need them. So, the first tag that we're going to introduce is going to be the title tag. The title tag is what's going to appear in your tab of your browser. So when you open the menu docs web page, you see menu docs in the tab. That's what we're going to be doing with our title. So to make it, it's quite easy. It's just title. Don't forget your forward slash version. And I'm going to be putting first HTML page in here. You all can put whatever you would like in here, but whatever you put in here is what's going to appear in the tab. That's all we're going to be doing in our head element today. So let's move on to the body. As I mentioned in the last episode, the majority of our code is going to go in the body element. Today we're going to do some slight text formatting with our H1 through 6 elements. These are different size headings for our page. H1 is the biggest and H6 is the smallest. Feel free to play around with your sizes before choosing the one you would like to use. For our website here, we're going to be using the H2. And just like our paragraph element, any text we put in here will appear on our web page in the H2 format. I'm going to put in this is a heading. Simple enough. Moving on, headings are cool and all. Let's talk about some broken up paragraphs. Let's say you want to add in a piece of text a line below the other text in the paragraph. For this, we need the break tag. This breaks our line and moves it to the following text, down a line. To form this, we only need the letters B and R. So let's create a paragraph really fast, and let's say I am a broken paragraph. So to break this, right before the broken, all we need is your BR tag. Now this is one of the rare exceptions I talked about in the last episode, where you don't need a forward slash version added onto it. Now breaks can be stacked on top of each other to make multiple things, so you could have a blank line in between your words. So here, we're going to create two line breakers. I'll show you what all of this looks like when we get to the website in a little bit. You can add as many or as few of these as you would like, but I'm just going to put a single and a double break for now. Now, let's talk about what the bulk of this episode is about. Lists. Think of a grocery list. You put everything in a list so you can go get everything you need. Let's say you wanted to put your grocery list on your web page. If you wanted to do this, there are a few tags we have to hit on before you're able to have your list in your web page. 
Our first choice we need to make is whether this list will be ordered or unordered. Ordered lists will have numbers next to them, like 1, 2, and 3, whereas unordered lists will have bullet points next to them. For our example, I'm going to be going with the unordered list tag. This is the UL tag. If you would like to use an ordered list, all you have to do is change the U to an L. And there you go. There's an ordered list. But for this, we're going to use an unordered list, so it makes it a little easier to see. Now, to put elements inside of our list, we need another tag. This tag is going to be li. This is a list item. This tag can be used as many times as you want for as many elements as you like. I'm only going to add three here. There are going to be site one. We'll create another one. Site two. We'll create a third. Site three. And since this is an unordered list, which we defined with the UL right here, they're going to have bullet points next to them, not numbers. So guys, let's take a look at our site now. And it's going to be a little different. As you can see up here, Right? Let's make sure we save it. <laughs> My bad. Forgot to save. And now, let's open it up. And here we go. This is right here, up here, first HTML page. That was our title tag, right here. Our heading that we just put in is this. It's a little bigger, and it's bold. Now we have our list here, as you can see, it's bulleted. We have our three bullets, site 1, 2, and 3. And if you would like them to be ordered, I'll show you what an ordered list looks like. Save that, reload the page. There you go, you have numbers 1, 2, and 3. Now here's our broken paragraph. The one break tag dropped it from right after the A down to here. So it just dropped it down a line, and the double gave us a blank space before our paragraph. So guys, that's going to be it for today's episode. I'm sorry it's so short, but I promise the next one's going to be longer. We're definitely building up to some longer, more advanced episodes, but we got to get through the basics first. If you all enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe with your post notifications so you know when we upload more of these videos. Thank you all for watching today on the Menu Docs, and happy coding.